Saturday morning cartoons. I grew up every Saturday morning running around, doing all sorts of things, getting ready, got my bowl of cereal out, got my, you know, got my, got my, you know, outfit out. And I say outfit, I tried to try to dress up a lot. I didn't have a whole lot at the time, but I tried to dress up a lot, different things, in order to get ready for Saturday mornings. Because Saturday mornings at around 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock a.m. till about, I don't know, 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock at noon. Uh, you had cartoons that ran on different stations. You had your three major networks, you had ABC, NBC, and uh, CBS. And they all had cartoons on. So you had to kind of figure out your schedule as to which ones you wanted to watch on this network, this network, and this network. Because you couldn't watch them all. All your favorite shows didn't come on one network. Um, so, question to you all to begin with. Storytime with Will, episode four. Um, what were some of your favorite cartoons growing up? What were some of the things you liked? What were some of the cartoons that you couldn't wait to get up for on Saturday morning? One thing I remember growing up was not only seeing cartoons on Saturday morning, but then on Mondays when you went back to school, everybody talked about them. It's like watching Game of Thrones now, you know, especially for kids, you know, because that was something you did. Did you watch a new episode of Thundercats? Did you watch a new episode of uh, He-Man or G.I. Joe or the Transformers? Or, you know, and... I grew up with a lot of cartoons. I was born in the mid seventy, early mid to early seventies. So, uh, by the time I was old enough to recognize what TV was and all that, there were a lot of great cartoons. I remember watching. I remember watching stuff like Captain Caveman and um, things like Plastic Man, the Super Friends, uh, old school Voltron. I'm kind of going forward in history here because we're going from the kind of seventies, eighties. Um, Mr. T had a cartoon for a while. That, that was a thing. And I watched, got to watch that for a little while while I was on. Uh, Mork and Mindy had a cartoon out. Actually, Mork and Mindy, I believe the Fonz and Verla Vernon Shirley all had cartoons on ABC. Pretty crazy when you think about it. I got to watch a little bit of all those. Uh, Blue Falcon and Dino Mutt I watched religiously, right along with Scooby-Doo and the Flintstones. Captain Caveman was one of my favorites. Uh, just, you know, here's the concept. It's a furball with feet. And arms at a caveman club, and run around screaming, Captain Caveman! And he would pull stuff out of his fur to help fight crime. There's your premise. Um, as I got older, you know, of course, there was the stuff that you really started having not only Saturday morning cartoons, but then weekly cartoons. So you had, for example, you had Gargoyles, you had Darkwing Duck, you had Bonkers, you had your Disney lineups, then you had other shows like Captain Planet coming out, you had, um, Stuff like Transformers really blowing and going still. He-Man was still on for a long time. She-Ra for the ladies that liked She-Ra. And all those different cartoons came out. And so, why is he doing a story time on Saturday morning cartoons? Well, because I, I grew up loving them. And to be honest, it's something I miss. Uh, if you look at TV now, a lot of times, yes, we have Cartoon Network. We have all these different things. But there's really not a Saturday morning cartoon block anymore on regular television. I believe a couple of years ago, USA was the last network to run a Saturday morning cartoon block. And they ended that block after so long because there wasn't the demand for the Saturday morning cartoons. So this is a real short, sweet video about Saturday morning cartoons. Do me a favor. In the comments below... List some of yours. I'd like to see what your cartoons are. I'd like to see what things you watched growing up. I'd like to find out what uh, cartoons really kind of inspired you to do whatever. You know, some cartoons that I remember growing up inspired me to want to be noble. They wanted to inspire me to be more heroic, or they wanted to they inspire me to learn how to read better or write better. Different things like that. There were a lot of shows growing up even back then. I remember even watching like stuff like that Jackson Five cartoon. Uh, that usually came on on Sunday mornings with Dick Williams' Magic Land in Memphis. So, just kind of a side note there. But anyway, what kind of cartoons did you enjoy? Um, and just to let you know, next episode of Storytime with Will, we're going to get a little Stranger. That's right, we're going to talk about Stranger Things Season 1. It's very important to note that because I'm not going to talk about Season 2. I'm not going to spoil that for you guys. If you haven't watched Stranger Things yet, watch that. It's a great series. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, talk about your favorite cartoons. Let's have a dialogue about cartoons. Because I believe cartoons, when they're done well, can inspire people and do great things. And it's real cool because you get characters in cartoons that you wouldn't necessarily get in movies. Although we do have a lot of movies where cartoons inspired them and different things like that. I mean, you got Riverdale that recently came out and that was inspired by Archie's. 
you know, and all these different shows that have kind of been inspired by cartoons and comic books, etc. So, anyway, thank you guys for those of you who have already subscribed and get in touch with this channel. I greatly appreciate it. Love and support you guys as well. Of all things, just remember, be blessed, be a blessing to somebody. Take care. I love you guys. And I've got a story to tell, and I hope and pray that this will inspire you to tell yours. Take care, guys.